Hello, my name is David with Winning Solutions. We hope this video will be all the help you need. Are you trying to create an access database, but find that it is too much work, or you could be doing something more productive with your time? WSI can do all the hard work for you. Just contact us via the information below this video. We will work with you to determine how much time and money will be needed to build your new database. If you'd prefer to have your database built with .NET, Microsoft SQL Server, so you can run it on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser, we could do that too. Welcome back. This is David from Winning Solutions, and we're going to we're going to go over a quick video here to talk about a bug that has happened in one of the Microsoft Access or Microsoft Office updates. This, we believe, has been resolved as of the making of this video, but we wanted to make a quick video just to make sure that you are informed of this. Uh, so this is the problem that might happen uh, if your networked access database stopped working on or shortly after December 14th. That is when the last access update was pushed out. So it's not your fault. It's a bug in the update, in, the, in, the, in Microsoft's update. And uh, don't worry, access is alive and well. So don't worry about that. Now, the, net, the error message could look something like this. These are some examples. Uh, could not lock file, could not use, and it may not be this exactly, it may not be this exact uh, path, but it, it will say something like could not use file name, file already in use. This file here is, is a sample. So there are several updates that have been identified as the cause. So basically, um, this looks a little wordy. You don't really need to worry about it. I mean, basically, if you're using Office 216 KB knowledge base, that defines what, what the update was. So if you're using 2016, it was this update. If you're using 2013, it might have been this update. Office 2019, um, uh, Office 2019 version 18, then it was this build. And build just is kind of, um, it's, a fancy, it's a fancy way of saying version number. Not exactly, but basically it, it's the uh, version of the update that was put out. I don't think anyone's using LTSC 2021. You never know, but uh, I don't think many of you will be using that. Okay, so there's three possible ways to solve the issue. And uh, it, it has been patched as of the uh, making of this video it seems to have been patched by Microsoft, but just just three quick ways you could uh, you could do this. You could remove the following updates if they apply, and you, know, you can. And, and there's an article which I will um, which I'll refer you to uh, that'll show you how to do that. Um, note this will only temporarily fix the problem until the next time Office updates. However, again, if if this is once this is fixed, that's not an issue. Uh, same thing for the second solution. Now this. Uh, this probably is not recommended, but I'm including it because it's in the uh, it's in the help file. Um, basically, reverting back to an older version of Office again, unless you really know what you're doing with with Access and Office, this this may not be the right fix for you. Uh, so we might uh, discourage that one, although it would work. Um, is a combination permanent? This will fill uh, fix until the next build change, and uh, until the next update comes out. Um, Again, this is a little bit advanced. Uh, if you're not real computer savvy, it might not be the best idea to, to, to mess with these things. Uh, but we just wanted to give you the information out there. There are some links. Uh, these are the sources for the information in this video. Uh, there's a Microsoft Knowledge Base article and one on Bleeping Computer. And these will give you a, a few more details. And it will detail some of the steps uh, that you can take to fix this. If you're still having problems, uh, you can contact us. Uh, we have some customers we are assisting with this issue. So, uh, you know, even if you're not a current customer, we can walk you through this and uh, help you uh, resolve this matter. But just to bottom line is this is a bug on Microsoft's part. It is being fixed. In fact, it likely has been fixed by now. And um, we just wanted to provide this as an update uh, to show uh, what was going on. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was all the help you needed for your Access database. If you are struggling to create an Access database that does what you need it to do and just want someone to make that happen for you, that is the business we are in. Our contact information is below the video. You can reach out to us and we will work with you to determine how long it will take and how much it will cost to get your database up and going. If the time and cost are acceptable to you, WSI will get to work and make your database vision a reality. Perhaps Microsoft.net or MS SQL Server would be the better choices for your new database, 
so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser. WSI will help you make this determination if you like. Again, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day.